hearing about new surgical techniques that are virtually pain-free. And now it's time to go a bit more in depth. So I'd like to bring out a very special guest. Please join me in welcoming the doctor responsible for all these amazing bunion surgeries, Dr. Richard Moy. I'd say you deserve that applause. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> well, tell me, how do you do it? You have so many testimonials. We've seen a lot of it today. Well, the procedure started back in 1991, and that's when I first started to realize that there was something kind of unique going on here. I thought about this procedure quite a bit, and my whole emphasis was allowing to get patients to walk on their foot immediately after surgery. The pain-free thing was something that just came about naturally. I wasn't really anticipating that. It's my emphasis to put that foot back together or that area back together so that when people walk on their foot, it won't shift or move and the bunion won't reoccur. The procedures that a lot of other doctors do will remove <clears throat> a small portion of the bunion on the side of the foot. And that, if a moderate bunion is just shaved off, it will inevitably reoccur. It might take a year or two. It might take more than 10 years. That is really dependent on the activity of that patient and the foot structure. I will tell you is that every procedure and everybody's bunion is a little bit different. So I don't apply the same exact technique to every single individual patient. Every procedure is really designed around that person and that person's foot. I mean, a bunion deformity might as well be a fingerprint of that person because everybody's bunion is just a little bit different. And I choose procedures specifically based on that patient's whole makeup their foot. Okay, I, you know, I have to take this opportunity because I'm going to be a little selfish here. I have a secret of my own. I have two bunions. And my right one is worse, in my opinion, than my left. Would you mind looking at it? Not at all. Okay. I move this. Well, yes, Kimber, you do have a bunion. And as you can see, a bunion right here is an outgrowth of bone there on the side of your foot. Let's take a look here. This is where the pain generally associated with bunions occurs. A lot of times it can come over here as well. I like to evaluate the range of motion of the joint to make sure it's smooth and fluid, that there's no crunchiness or crepitation occurring within the joint. And, you know, how much snappiness does that tendon pull over? There's a lot of things that I can look at a foot within a matter of two minutes and surmise exactly the, the procedure that I perform for you. And um, a lot of it has to do with the soft tissue elasticity, which yours is very good. Some people, their skin is so tight that it actually stiffens up the joint a little bit. But uh, looking at your foot, I think you'd make a great surgical candidate. Um, patients that want to have surgery have to go through an extensive history and physical. And so we don't just treat the patient's foot, we treat the patient as a whole. We need to make sure that their past medical history is good, they don't have any allergies, what types of medications they're taking. We don't want the anesthesia or the surgery itself to interfere with you as a person. I'm convinced. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome.